Diagoch, it's Misha Dahi, uh, it's us Kunde and Clarme, uh, E. Aaron, I guess, uh, Shannon May Kyol Electronic, uh, I guess, uh, Beam Egg, Shannon Lesh and Violin, Koma, so, uh, yeah, Shane. First record I ever bought was a really embarrassing one. I think it was like a Steps record. I don't even remember the, the boy band Steps. <laughs> <laughs> but then after that, um, when I really started getting into music properly, uh, my parents bought me uh, uh, the Beatles One album, which was huge for me. And then the one that I really, really loved, that I the first kind of record that I like wore out that absolutely died was Daft Punk's Homework. So I'm sure you're familiar with that one as well. <laughs> yeah, big time. Yeah, I mean, when I started, I started playing with kind of violins and, and loop stations and stuff as as myself. Uh, when I went to college and it was the number one thing that I wanted to do was play in all the house parties in, in the area that we were playing in college. So I used to play at like two or three o'clock in the morning, kind of dance music and stuff in people's houses. And then after that, um, I toured around Ireland for two or three years and have just been playing nonstop ever since. I think as a, as a modern musician, you kind of, if you don't like playing live, you're going to have a hard time <laughs> making a living of it, of it you know? was a huge disco scene for a while in the kind of the early 2000s that was really strange because it was just there was a one group called the Disco Knots who started teaching a lot of young people how to DJ with vinyl which was kind of rare at the time and uh, it it like born this like huge thing of disco so when I was like in college and stuff it was just a huge amount of these parties where there'd be like disco playing and I, I thought that it was happening all over the country but like you'd go to Dublin and people would be playing techno and house and stuff like that but uh, when you came to Galway, it was all disco. So it was a really interesting side on that on that front. There's a really big culture of uh, tapas there as well, like Spanish tapas. There's a place called Cava that's like amazing, does incredible tapas. Um, there's just such a huge, like, major difference of all these type of cultures that have come together, you know? Like, Galway is really interesting because some people call it like the graveyard of ambition because what happens is you get there and you're all kind of set up to do something, but it's such a nice place that just people just decide to just stay there and, and just hang out. Recently, I've been really enjoying kind of the the day-to-dayness of life, you know, where you'll go out and like, I've gotten into gardening recently a lot and kind of going out and just doing one thing and knowing that you've done it and kind of like you can look at something that you've done uh, after a day's work and kind of see the kind of the regularness of it. And I do that the same with music as well. Like, you know, I'll, I'll kind of go into the studio for a day and I, I like to see what I've done afterwards. That's a really big push for me. Well, the things that I would love is, is a lot more connection between Ireland and and Europe, you know, I mean, we're we're one of the, the kind of the areas of Europe where we're a little bit farther away from everything as well. So I'd love a really nice connection between those two. I think we have a really good connection in terms of culture and stuff. I mean, one of my favorite things about Europe in general is this kind of, you know, the idea that everybody brings their own thing into an area. And I'd love to see more and more of that basically kind of the cultures kind of mixing together and introducing people into new stuff all the way. I think there's some amazing artists who do that so well. And, you know, we're very lucky here that we get a lot of European artists coming over here. And I'd love to see more Irish artists coming over to the Europe as well, you know. I grew up in a place called the Burren, which is a very well-known kind of geological area. Um, and I've picked an area near where my family are from, um, just beside my, my auntie's house there, which is this beautiful kind of area with all these woods around it. 